I don't get it. Why? I have seen everything this city has to offer. I've talked about KC Reescape. I talked about Cloud Game. I talked about Slim Jesus. I talked about Audio Turner. I talked about Cannon Jones. But there's more. There's more the city has to offer. Two culprits that I'll say up front right here right now. There may be more later as I go to produce this video. But two culprits that I must look into further is Sibo and Justin Eldridge. I don't know anything about these people. I met Sibo once. I don't know who Justin Eldridge is. But I guess I just have to look into it. So without further ado, I guess I'll just get on this computer and see, see what bullshit I can get into. Let's go. Okay, today's first video was sent to me by a girl named Alyssa. Thank you, Alyssa, for sending this to me. This is a SIBO music video, Ain't It Fun, shot by Cryptic Kali. So, uh, bonus points f for not using Cannon Jones. Bonus points already, so let's get into it, I guess. Ooh. Well, so far, the intro is pretty good. I don't know, uh... What this is, is probably going to be about for heartbreak. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so far, I, what I'm getting from this... It's basically a breakup music video. Let's fucking go. There's nothing wrong with it per se, but it's just kind of hard to hear the vocals. Usually when I, it's it's at this uh, point in time when it's hard to hear the vocals is when it's not really uh, viable to like say anything. I can't really critique the rhymes or anything, but we'll just continue on from here. Eyes blood shot and you don't even smoke, uh. Smell like liquor and you said you didn't drink, uh. I'm Monday night, I didn't mean to make it this hard, but you made me work hard too hard just to make you happy when the moon's gone. You got something that's so nice about you, I can't move on. I might have to end my life just to move on. I just know she goes, she goes, she goes. I don't wanna let go, let go. Alright, so far, I can already say, let's pause the video real quick. So far, I can already say that this is a good product. It's a oh, wave. <laughs> Hold up. You see that red bar? It's already almost over. And I've, I've barely gotten anything from this. That's my issue. I can't. It's already almost over and I barely got anything from this. I, I from from what I've heard is maybe a, a chorus and now we're in the middle of a uh, so-called uh, verse. Or a, yeah, a chorus and a verse so far, and there's not really much uh, going on here. We just know it's a breakup music video or something like that, and it's not it's not technically bad or any. Wait, I know that girl. I think I know that girl. It's kind of awkward, but uh, it's not it's not technically bad uh, by any means of it, but uh, it's good. It's it's good. That's all I can say about it. Um, hopefully we can find some more SIBO stuff Right here. This is all that was sent to me by S for SIBO. So we'll move on to our next uh, Next person today. All right, and so now we're on Justin Eldridge and Justin Eldridge has a larger portfolio that was sent to me his entire channel was sent to me and we're gonna take a good little bit dive into it but first we're going to go into this song and see what we can pull out from it crazy smooth look at that intro Like 
so far i'm really liking it it's a good he has a good flow i can actually understand him fucking fine it's sebo we got a sebo everyone I, I like the whole, uh, the whole, uh, pussy being said in the background. Very, uh, artistic of you. Very artistic of you. Very nice. We're mostly into the song already, and it's getting really good. But the thing is, the song is already about to end, and that is where my issues are going to arise more. Is that these things are very short, they have one verse to it, and they have no substance. So, that is my major issue with all of these so far. But Justin Elridge has a channel with 578 subscribers so he's got a, a good good amount of subscribers more than me frankly and i've been doing this for far 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 longer so we're gonna go to his channel and see what we can find so looking at his channel statistics here i have 590 more a view i have 590 views compared to his 496 i think that is correct i got my views uh incorrectly said uh, uh, against Casey Ruski's I was like actually like 300 below him instead of 200 but that is uh that is my mistake so we got four music videos here we're all seeing my turn uh flyer flying soft is a minute and 44 I don't feel like that's going to be worth anything but we got one from four years ago and we all know that name we all know this name gaming nerds Cannon Jones did a song or did a music video per se for Justin Eldridge and we're gonna look into it Cannon Jones has the best visuals and I do not mean that at all when I write songs make time slow mo Whoa. I gotta go it's grind mode bro when I'm in the zone it's no joke ho got the game locked like Stone Coast ho huh? so far this flow is fucking boss there's nothing wrong with it huh? on the road right back to redemption got a while out to stay around like Simpson Man, this shit's so crazy. Game turn around like it did a 180. But it won't change me. I'ma keep it real until I die. And I don't give a fuck if everybody hate me. This is what you made me. So I don't take no bullshit. Uh -uh. If you have it from the back, I promise. Alright, the only thing I'm confused about is that is is he like is he on the train tracks for a reason? Is he did he just think that was a good place to go? Because when Cannon Jones does his music videos, he lets the artist choose where to go. And I, 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 walking on tracks isn't the easiest thing on the planet. You know, those, you know, rails are kind of tall. You can trip over them easily. And I just want to know what was going through his head when he decided to say, hey, let's go to the train tracks. Because that is just a weird place to do where a train could come. I don't know if these tracks have been decommissioned or not. I don't recognize where these tracks are. I just I just think this is a weird artistic uh decision by Justin because usually Cannon Jones doesn't really direct the video he he shoots it and then he says hey do this I guess that's directing but he doesn't like uh actually choose where to go or make the video other than editing it and shooting it he doesn't have any artistic value to put into these music videos and that is the issue that we are running into right now is because this is a very distracting place to go i'm just saying it's very weird it's very strange and i don't know why he chose to go here this chorus is pretty good it's pretty catchy and the different shots are very well done what the fuck well that all that all that just went out the window when you, you shoehorn a movie scene 
uh, of a church of two two old women dancing uh again i want to know what the artistic value or the artistic decision was when when canon jones decided to shoehorn the music uh, with a movie scene of two old women dancing in the church i don't know what movie to where that is from i i have no interest to know where that is from i just want to know is why why did you do it and what, what was the decision what was the decision behind it? I need answers. My athletes, bro. Uh, damn, I should smack that job. I was trying to hog here past that ball. It's my time, this prime time. Take your clock and smash it. Who's five times in your guidelines? Man, I think that y'all need glasses. So it's one time for the people back again. Home. I know y'all. It, it is the most absurd thing. I do not understand it. I don't understand it. I, I have no jokes. I have I just have questions. I just have questions. I I I I I I'm frankly not gonna look more into into this in into this video because I'm afraid that I'll get a copyright strike by showing this footage. So I I think we're done here. I am I frankly am I'm done with this music video. Um, we're gonna look at maybe perhaps one more Justin Elbridge uh, music video. Let's do that. Let's end it there. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you another video directed by Cannon Jones. Cannon Jones has literally done every Hamilton artist known to man. Cannon Jones has completely fucked these music videos, and I am very disappointed in this man. He he ruined the Cloud King, you know, music videos. He he, he made Drill Time blow up. But not on his channel. Slim Jesus has got the clout for that. Slim Jesus has the views because Slim Jesus obviously knows how to do tags better than fucking Cannon Jones. And again, we have another video directed by Cannon Jones. Let's see what we can get into. This is fucking weird. This already sounds terrible. What happened from the good Justin Eldridge songs that we had the last two music videos? This is... This is garbage. The auto-tune. When I ever hear auto tune in a, like a uh, you know in a rapper's music or or a song, I, I'm being very fucking cavemanish about my burbs. My fuck, son of a bitch! My words here. I can't. I I can't understand what was the decision behind auto tune. The decision. What is that? That was literally Pikachu. Literally Pikachu. I don't understand. It's already over. I haven't. I have no. I can't put into input into this. There's nothing to say. There's literally nothing to say. And that is today's issue. Today's issue is having having a way to put input in 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 the commentary that I'm trying to like convey to you because. Justin Eldridge isn't bad. He just had a bad song that time, and that was just fucking awful, and I hated it every second of it. But the last two were pretty good, and there was nothing wrong with them. Um, now I don't know how Justin Eldridge has more subscribers than me. He doesn't upload much. He last time he uploaded was two months ago, and he uploads maybe monthly on the basis on the, and it's what it seems here. We have two months, three months, four months, five months, and five months, and six months. So it seems here that he uploads somewhat. He does videos where he's in front of a microphone and rapping and doing uh, remixes and covers. But other than that, I don't think, you know, remixes and covers is going to make you big uh, as an independent artist. You kind of rely on others. Music. Uh, at that point and I think that's where he's going wrong. He made a song with Sibo and Brando, okay, that's a weird name um, Two months ago. I'm not gonna go into that. I'm trying to look at music videos 
so I can actually see visuals to these songs so I can have more input to them but there's literally hardly anything to say here I didn't look at showcase because I'm trying not to stay too long on one person so um, I'm going to go to my Facebook messages and I have more uh, more things uh, sent to me and I'll see where where I can pull out out of my ass and see who we can look at Jesus Christ this apparently just went under the radar to everyone we have a song by Lu Liu Kang featuring Tony Hendrix one low sco I don't know what that means but it, it's a Canon Jones production it has five likes and only 368 views and it was from 2017 this uh, usually Canon Jones videos or at least get 5,000 views maybe a thousand at, at least but this went under the radar there's this this is absurd how much it went under the radar so I'm going to have to look into this and see why it was so not well received I'm out here trying to do things for serving up that Bruce Wayne I told that big get out my line cuz I can't do the move Swain's my plug he look like Luke Kang all right it's understandable why this was so well well terribly received um it sucks it sounds terrible and the beat is the only thing going for it i do not want to see this guy's uh pecs i really don't really care he is really douchebaggish um with a, a probably a hoe he just probably bought offline i don't think he even knows her but with it being a canon jones production i can't be impressed with the visuals at all Topic. Waiting for sorry, ain't waiting for nothing. Know that I want them, these hunters keep coming. Feel like it's the feel when they come to this money. Host tack on my line, in the Terry, I pun them. Who? And I gotta keep coming. Serve off for the low and them yachts keep coming. I don't tell my brothers, I don't. Dude, you don't, you don't, you don't need to be kissing the fucking stripper in the fucking video. You might catch something. You are putting yourself at risk by kissing her. Come on. No wonder this was so under received. It's not good. We're already he went through a verse. Hey, there's a chorus and there's still a half a song left, so there might be a second verse. Who fucking knows at this point? No, it's just it's just the chorus again. And Okay, I get it. Been out here, I've been doing things. I ain't got no time. Why would I stress over some loose change? I think this is Tony Hendrix. Maybe? I don't know. I am not entertained by this video by the slightest. I am very, very upset at the production, at at the feel of the song. There is nothing here. We're moving on. So, so far, we have seen uh, three people, and they all have been either okay, good at some points, and bad at others, or just straight bad. And I am very disappointed that this is what was sent to me. That no one found anything else. No one found anything else to send to me. So, I guess that's where we're going to end it here. <sighs> it is it is just fucking sad it is just fucking sad i have nothing i have nothing to say maybe okay let's say this let's say okay sibo it's kind of awkward because i know sibo and i listened to some of his music and i was never thrilled with what with the tracks that was shown to me my friend lawrence is friends with him and he showed a couple of the tracks to me and i wasn't entertained i wasn't interested he is because it's i don't know if it's the vocals that are hard to hear because it's just it's just vibe music you know you just sit there and listen to it and just vibe which isn't a bad thing but the music isn't like i poppingly good you know what i mean so in justin eldred's case he's got nice flows i can hear him perfectly fine i think he'll benefit with putting out music with with uh with captions with subtitles on the screen I think he'll benefit a lot from that so we can actually uh, keep track of what he's saying 
as long as he stays away from the otter tuning bullshit that all, every rapper seems to climb into um i think justin eldridge is on a good path and i hope he keeps going on that good path and i think there there'll be a good future for him if he keeps going and whatever whatever these fucks were whatever these fuckers were they have no future they have no hope they have nothing please stop don't do any more with Cannon Jones because you are not getting any benefit. Because 368 views, three years down the line, that's not good. Especially with Cannon Jones, who get at least gets a minimum of a thousand views on a music video. So this is one of the outliers that didn't do well. And uh like look at that. Only 368. I don't know. I don't know what to what else to say at this point. Please. Do not send any more to me. I am not interested in more Hamilton artists. These these literally were the cherry picked good ones that I found. There was more sent to me, but they were literally so bad not even worth mentioning. Um, most of them were SoundCloud links and I'm not gonna just show a SoundCloud waveform to you and then critique the music. There, There's just hardly anything to say here and that is the issue, but Again, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I think we get the point. It's pretty mediocre at best. If you want to see my music, the Mariman LP3 is almost done. It's getting released episodically. It's kind of controversial. And it also has lyrics on the screen. So I hope you guys would enjoy that. If you want to go look at that, go ahead. You might you might be surprised at what you hear. But uh, I am Marine Man. I'll see you Marines and Spartans on the next mission. Raymond out. Bye bye.